What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 84th Java tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be going over graphics because, well, my ultimate goal of these tutorials is pretty much to make computer games. And we can't make a computer game without sweet graphics. So I'm finally getting into graphics. I decided to abandon flow layout and stuff for now because, you know, this is just much more exciting. Um, if we need any other layouts, we'll go back to them. But for now, I want to start making some sweet graphics on the screen. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, I made a new class called Peach because, well, to be quite honest, just because I like peaches. And it needs to extend JPanel because we're going to be using that. So don't forget to have all your imports. Now let's go ahead and get started with making graphics on the screen. Now in order to make graphics on the screen, we need a method called Paint Component. And this Paint Component method is used to draw graphics on the screen. So let's go ahead and put public void paint component and for a parameter it takes an object from the graphics class so graphics and I'll just name it G you can name it uh, whatever variable you want in this parameter right here this G this is going to be used to like set the color and we manipulate this object depending on what we want to draw but don't forget that you need this method called paint component this is a built in method um, that's inherited and this is the method used to create all graphics on the screen so now that we have this method we can automatically start creating graphics so let's go ahead and get to it um, the first thing we need to do is just one other housekeeping thing we need to put super paint component and just fill in G right there and what this is going to do is it's going to call the superclasses. Remember, this is how you call superclasses methods. We want to call the superclasses paint component method. And you just need to do this because there's stuff in the uh, superclass that we need to use just for housekeeping stuff and pass in your parameter or whatever it was here. And um, that's the only kind of confusing thing that might not be self explanatory. So don't forget that. So now let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do is set the background color for our screen. So go ahead and write this, which means this object. Set background and bam, look at that. Now as a parameter for your background color, you just take a color. Now Java already has built in constants of colors, which is pretty much all your basic colors. But for now, in order to get constant, just put color dot white because we just want a plain white background so now we pretty much have on our screen a white background not very exciting but we're going to change that soon in order to draw objects on the screen you first need to tell your object or your graphic object what color you want to use to draw with so let's go ahead and put G set color and as a parameter just like set background it takes a color constant now let's go ahead and set our color to color dot blue and make sure blue is in all caps and that means constant in Java so now that we have a color for our graphics object we can begin drawing a rectangle on our screen so the first thing I'm going to tell you guys is how to draw a rectangle and to do that it's fill rect and what this is going to do is it's going to give you four parameters and this is going to draw a rectangle a solid rectangle on the screen so the first parameter it takes is the X parameter and Y now this top left corner of your window is 0 0 and from left to right this is the X from left to right and Y is up and down so let's go ahead and make the coordinates X and Y and you should know this if you uh, ever took a math class in your life so at 25 25 which would be somewhere around here 25 over and 25 down that is where we want the top left of the rectangle to be now how wide do we want the rectangle to be let's just go ahead and put a hundred pixels wide by 30 pixels high so now we got our color and our coordinates of our rectangle right here so now we just have a blue rectangle chilling on our screen but I want to tell you guys something else you can do next we can go ahead and put set color and we can set the color again or pretty much reset the color and if we want to have a custom color that's not a constant like um, our own RGB values and RGB means red green and blue just go ahead and put new 
color and as your parameters you type in the RGB value you want so let's put like 190 um, comma uh, 81 comma um, 215 make sure none of these values go above 255 and this pretty much means alright how much red do we want it 190 red 81 green and 215 blue what color this is I'm not sure but I know that it's gonna be some weird color but again if you want custom colors then that's how you create it what I usually do is I go into Photoshop and uh, mess around with the RGB value but you know that's not important right now so now let's go ahead and put this rectangle or draw a rectangle so G fill rect and again we have to fill in all our parameters so where do we want to we can't have it start in the same place so let's have it like start at 25 over but we'll have this one go 65 down since this one ends at um, 55 so again this is the Y and this is the height so this will give us 10 pixels of padding and you can mess around with this on your own and we'll make it the same width and height for you know it's just nice to be constant get it constant I just made it up and it's not even a joke really but anyways now we have two rectangles chilling on the screen so the last thing I want to show you guys is that not only rectangles but you can actually draw text on the screen so let's go ahead and change our color one more time just because we don't want everything the same color on the screen it's gonna be boring set color and we'll just change this color to like red or something using color dot red is our constant and now let's just go ahead and this is how you draw strings or text on the screen g dot draw string how easy is that now your iterator is pretty much what do you want the string to say and um, this is some um, text and make sure you spell text wrong or else it won't work I'm just kidding and now where do you want it to appear well let's make an x25 and let's see 120 that should be below everything so now we have a rectangle right here a rectangle under it and some text under that so now I already did this all I forgot I already did this all but pretty much make a new frame with your title set the close operation don't forget to do that and then make an object of your class whatever you named it I had a peach class so I named it P um, add it to the frame set the size of your window and make sure you set the visible to true so it actually appears and now if we go ahead and run this program you see that we created two rectangles that were filled in because we use the method fill rectangle and again if I do this you can see that the coordinates for the first one the blue one were 25 over 25 down this is a hundred wide and 30 pixels tall and next we set the color again and we gave it our custom color evidently this is some kind of purple color and this has RGB value of 190 81 215 and this is 25 over 65 down and that's your top left point right there a hundred wide and 30 tall and next we just pretty much made some text on our screen and this text started at 25 over and 120 pixels down that's where your text started and then you pretty much just draw, drew a string on the screen using the current color of your G object so that is pretty much the basics of how do you make simple rectangles um, of course there's more stuff we can do but for now just sticking with the basics in the next story I'm going to show you guys how to draw some sweet graphics and uh, well they're not going to be that sweet but they're going to be a little better than this one so thank you guys for watching now don't forget to subscribe and hopefully I'll see you next tutorial